Uh, what's the deal? It's Boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV back again. I need to get me a haircut. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get me one this week. You know what I'm saying? We'll be back, we'll be back on here looking fly again. You know what I mean? Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel, supporting DMTV too. We trying to get this channel up to 10,000 subscribers. Y'all know I gotta check, see if I'm recording. We trying to get this channel to 10,000 subscribers. So please share the video. Y'all, I got four subs yesterday. Well, about six subs yesterday. Y'all share the videos, got six subs. See, that's what happens when you share the video. So share the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family about me. Also, the big channel's up, back up. So I'm back posting my big channel again tonight, uploading some videos. So uh, yesterday, we made a video about J. Cole and why he never fell off. And there was a good topic I came across, and it said about Travis Scott. And we wanted to say, is Travis Scott overrated? All right? Now, my personal opinion, I feel like he is. His best part was a song he was only featured on when he was in uh, Ice World of Tunnel Atlantic. Sights really in the Phantom. Some song with you can't sing. That, that was fire. But he was just only on the hook. Other than that, I have never known or a reason why Travis Scott is so big or why he makes such a, a noise. Now, that fame probably gone because of what happened with the little incident he happened to, like what, last year at his concert. So he got do, he in the rebuilding phase, but they gonna be bad loving him. Y'all know how this stuff with celebrities go. They be bad loving him. Something happened at all these concerts. Y'all need to be careful. Y'all know it had something happened. Ariana Grande concert, an explosion happened. So y'all better be careful, man. But um, I remember years ago when I first found out about Travis Scott and why he was big. Um, I was driving for Uber. I used to be an Uber driver. I was driving for Uber, and uh, I was making a lot of money one day. I'm like, why am I making so much money? Is it normal? They're like, oh, Travis Scott's in town. I'm like, who the heck is Travis Scott? I seen him, I'm like, who's this ASAP Rocky bootleg clone? That's why I thought he was, you know, ASAP Rocky had the weird braids coming out. And uh, I never remember Travis Scott having a run. All I remember is Tomasita with Young Thug and Rich Homie Quan. That was trash. And um, I don't remember uh, Travis Scott having a run. Like, what I mean, like, a run is where he's on everybody's features. You know, usually you will see an artist build up their, their fame to get the start. It seems like Travis Scott skipped the line and boom, he's the man. You know what I'm saying? Kylie Jenner helped him out a lot. Him dating a Jenner, you know, helped him out a lot. I don't see the hype over them women, y'all. Them women is just as plastered as everybody else. See, here's the thing about our society, man. Every dude would talk about our black women. Y'all need to start wearing makeup. Y'all need to start wearing them wigs. But y'all let them Panamanian, um, 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 uh, what, what else you want to call them? Bohemian, uh, 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 Iraqi women, the Kardashians, whatever the heck they is. Y'all watch them be plastered up and be like, oh, they so beautiful. They so bad with their fake lips. Fake hips, fake back, fake neck, fake shoulders, fake head, fake forehead. I ain't never seen anybody get a fake forehead. Them girls got forehead surgery. Y'all go look up the pictures. They done got bones uh, sawed down the head. So I don't get the hype behind them women at all. But so Travis Scott did the uh, college Jenner help boost his career, get him to the limelight. And I don't know why so many people are obsessed with that girl. We'll do a separate video on her. Is she overrated? Because she's overrated. She ain't even bad. But anyways... Travis Scott music is basic. I think Astro World was alright, but like I said, I never heard that one hit by by Travis Scott that was played everywhere. Hold on, what? he did have one song, but see that's the thing. I, I'm just not a fan of him. So maybe y'all are, maybe y'all like Travis Scott. You know what I'm saying? But I think he is basic. He don't have no, no tight lyrics. He ain't got no tight hooks like that. Like I said, if I give Travis Scott my 2K rating for him is like a, a an 80. Because he did his thing on the song with uh, Young Thug on his pre previous album, as far as rapping, but that's my 2K rating. In reality, what I know, if he was in 2K, the world would rate Travis Scott like a 95. You know what I'm saying? Travis Scott, if this was Def Jam Fight from New York, Travis Scott would be a character that you unlock it after you beat the game. You don't. He's not a default character. He's not a character that as soon as you turn the game on, he's in the roster. You got to beat the game to get him. I feel like Drake would be another character. You got to beat the game with him. So I know for outside looking in that the world will view Travis Scott as a 2K rating of a 95 or a 90. In my book, Travis Scott, like in the 70s, high 70s, low 80s is where he's at musically with me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's just basic. You know, if I could, I, good background music. Say we playing spades. 
You know what I'm saying? We got the play, spades going. We got the dominoes going. I suck at dominoes too, man. I just never could get into it, but I'm about, I'm going to set my bones game up. You know what I'm saying? But we got the dominoes going. We got the spades going. You know what I'm saying? We got some drinks. We got some stuff rolled up. You know what I'm saying? People got music playing and Travis Scott music in the background and nobody's listening to it, but it keeps the vibe good to where we can all laugh and joke. That's what Travis Scott music is to me. Background music. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all like Travis Scott, y'all cool. But like I said, to me, the dude, basic. I ain't a dude got no surgery. Anybody that want to get rid of y'all, y'all uh, natural, African, black, whatever features you want to call it, y'all take L's for me in my book. All you females out there who ain't got y'all noses looking like Janet Jackson took an L for me. You know what I'm saying? Stop getting forehead surgery. Stop getting cheek surgery. And you males, y'all better learn how to look ugly out here and just live your life. All right? It is what it is. You know, men back in the day used to rock the body with the hair on the side. Now, look, we getting nose surgery. You know what I mean? And I'm talking junk. I'm over here about to schedule me a chemical pill. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't about to get no surgery, though. Ain't nothing wrong with getting, keeping your skin good and, and getting the haircut taken care of. But I ain't about to get no surgery, though. Nah, whatever I got, I got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm scheduling a, skip, a chemical pill. They're going to, I got to get this layer off. I seen that on, on the internet. I'm like, what? And it worked. I'm like, I'm about to get that. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of these little black marks. But anyways, that's my, um, that's my thoughts on Travis Scott, man. Let me know what y'all think. That's going to conclude the video. I probably could have said more about it, man. Let me think. My old was trash. Last album. Oh, yeah. And the dude, uh, he even had the train station on one of his albums. But like I said, far as being overrated, yes. He does not deserve a 95 on 2K. But that concludes the video. It's boy with McLean at the Wayne McLean TV. Short, sim simple, quick, fast, and easy videos. I got some more videos uploaded on the big channel, which we will be sharing them both. I'm going to share the videos on the big channel and the, the, and the small videos on the big channel to this channel. Whatever. How are we going to do it? We're going to build them both up so we can make a third channel. Once we get this one up to about 20,000 subscribers, we're going to make a third channel. So we're going to just be keep working. The work ain't never going to stop. All right? We're going to neck all year 2022. Subscribe to the channel. Buy your DMTV merchandise. All right? Donate to the channel and subscribe to my Patreon at Dwayne McLean TV. I'll be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out. I need to get some milk.